In this video, we'll be talking about playback of a computer-based music library over a USB connection to the Cantata Music Center. A USB is arguably the simplest computer-based playback method with the highest sonic quality. Both the Windows and Macintosh operating systems natively support playback over USB, which means that no additional software drivers are necessary. The Music Center uses what is called an asynchronous USB connection which means that the critical master clock is located in the music center instead of being derived from the uh, USB data stream. This effectively eliminates the USB interface as a source of jitter. In fact, the music center's ultra-low jitter performance is the same whether it's playing music from the internal CD transport or from a computer over USB or Ethernet. And electrical isolation built into the music center means that there's no worry of computer-based noise contaminating the audio signal. All that's really required for USB playback is the Music Center, of course, a host computer, and in this case we're using a Windows laptop, but this could easily be a Macintosh, and a USB cable, which the Music Center ships with in the box. I'll plug the USB cable into the Music Center and into the host computer. And I don't know if the microphone picked that up, but the second I plugged the Music Center into the uh, source computer, the operating system made a noise indicating that it, it recognized that there's a new device there. On the Mac, it'll simply appear as a list of new devices in the system preferences. We now need to tell the computer to use USB as the output method for audio, which we'll talk about in just a second. This computer's already been configured for USB playback, and if I press play, we should hear music. And we do. Pause that. Now, even though the output is configured for USB and we're hearing music, there are a number of other settings you'll want to properly configure. The steps are simple enough, but it might be difficult to follow in this video format. So, step-by-step -step instructions for each operating system are located in the computer audio section of our website at the address here on your screen. With USB chosen as the input source, all control over playback, such as pause, play, next track, etc., must be performed on the computer rather than on the music center. In fact, the only buttons on the remote control which have any effect in USB playback mode are standby, display brightness, eject, volume up and down, mute, and the other input sources. Note that the analog button in the lower right corner only applies to the C50 amplifier for switching between its four inputs and has no function on the music center. Now while you can certainly control playback directly from the computer using the mouse and keyboard, there are a number of other ways to do this. In this case, we're using an Apple iPad to wirelessly control the source computer. For this to work, both devices need to be connected to a network, wireless or Wi-Fi for the iPad and wired or wireless for the source computer. With the iPad, I can sort through artists, albums, playlists, and so on, and tap any CD, track, or playlist to hear it. You'll still want to use the Music Center remote control for volume control and muting. It's best to leave the computer volume and iTunes volume set to maximum. Well, as you can see, USB is pretty great, but it has only one flaw. A USB cable can only be 15 feet long. In the next video, We'll talk about how the Resolution Audio Pontneuf USB Bridge solves this problem.